Today is a bad day. Today is a tragic day for all of people kind. Today, Proud Fat Queen has unfortunately fallen. It was only yesterday that I was living in blissful ignorance, unaware that our true hero, our true shining light, had been extinguished. It is with the most pain in my heart that I announced that the account Proud Fat Queen has been deleted off of Instagram. It is no longer available. But how did I come across this, you might ask? Well, it was actually only yesterday that I found out. I'd planned to make this my third and possibly final video on the Proud Fat Queen cinematic universe, so I decided to go and conduct some, uh, field research ahead of time, only to find out that the account is gone. It's just gone. Why? I have no idea. Maybe they just got bored of dismantling the patriarchy and went to pursue other hobbies, such as, uh, ice cream testing. That's a 10. Regardless, I knew I couldn't just give up and make another godforsaken back in the video. There'll be one releasing after this. And so I decided to dig a little deeper and found this. Thanks to the account Yulo, we now have access to exclusive behind the scenes interviews with not only Proud Fat Queen, but also Woke Asian and of course, Disgusted Feminist. And so that is what we are going to be discussing today. I hope you guys enjoy, but before we get into this, I need to put an obligatory warning. Some of the following could be very disturbing to some viewers. Furthermore, studies show that constant exposure to this type of content can lead to an increase in mental deficiency. So please, for the sake of your mental well-being, proceed with caution. And finally, this would not be a YouTube video if I didn't absolutely grovel and beg you to subscribe to this channel. This channel is the only thing keeping me sane. It's the only reason for my existence, and uploading content to you guys is my sole purpose for living. Please gratify my selfish request of a subscription. Starting off, we will begin with our holy lord and savior, of course, the proud fat queen. What are your thoughts on holidays? Holidays are racist. Period. Ah uh, yes, I too enjoy Christmas dinner in the company of my family, friends, and freshly lynched slaves. God bless the Empire. What is the most woke account? Progressive Feminist is woke as f- Deserves the Queen 2020 award. Now, let's take a quick look at the account and see what we find. Oh, oh, they are actually trying to help. Oh, well, I can't take the piss out of them for this one. Moving on, I guess. What is the most problematic account? At- Real Donald Trump. I mean, this question's a joke, right? Trump is a fascist, racist, rapist, misogynistic bigot. Such a nasty one. Trust fund. Who would you say is your feminist icon? At Annoyed Teenager is one of my feminist icons. Not like wannabe feminist, at feminist, whose intentions are way too conservative. Right, I'm gonna be honest here, I don't follow the account feminist because I'm over the age of 14, so I don't exactly know what they are talking about. The only thing that pops into my head is that whole fiasco that happened a while back when it was discovered that the account was actually run by two dudes. Absolute legends. What is your biggest concern for 2021? What should we look out for? A vaccine against COVID, as it's racist to fight against a Chinese virus. Okay, first off, according to your own feminist ideologies, it's racist to even call the coronavirus a Chinese virus. And if it isn't against your ideologies, then why was everyone giving Trump hate when he said it? Was it because he's a fascist, racist, rapist, misogynistic bigot? Or simply because he wanted to get pissed off at something? And finally, if it does go against your ideologies, why are you saying it now? I'm not even going to talk about how inherently flawed this statement is either, because I'm 90% sure that if I do, Either this video would end up being way too long, or I will end up sprawled across the street with my bollocks missing. Alright, so that was Proud Fat Queen for CNN. Let's move on to the second interview of the day, which features possibly the greatest named Instagram account ever. Woke Asian. God damn, man, I wish I was a woke Asian. Now, most of the questions are very much the same, so I'm going to try and abbreviate them when I can to avoid a 30 minute long video. Just a reminder that should you wish to check out the interviews yourself for any bizarre reason, the account name will be in the description so you can go down below and check them out. When asked what the most woke Instagram account was and what the most problematic Instagram account was, Woke Asian responded with leftism is correctism and annoyed teenager. Okay, so I actually just realized whilst editing this that I, uh, I got it wrong and that it's actually leftism is correct, but leftism is correctism is just a better name. Oh, damn! We better have some feminist beef. The woke Asian thinks annoyed teenager is problematic whilst proud fat queen has them as one of their idols. 
I don't know, man. I think a boxing match is due. I'm putting my money on the proud fat queen. Tell me who you think would win in the comments down below. When asked what their biggest concern for 2021 was, the woke Asian responded with this. Joe Biden is the biggest threat. We need to impeach him as soon as he's in office to ensure that Kamala Harris is the next president. Avoid Amy Coney and her supporters. She will get rid of gay rights. Avoid racist rappers like Lil Pump, Lil Wayne, 50 Cent, and Ice Cube, as they all support In 2021, blinking, sleeping, and generally closing your eyes is racist towards Asians. Wow, there is uh, so much to unpack here. Uh, first off, uh, I have found you, Joe Biden. Also, why on earth was the surname Barrett censored? Did they think it was the gun? <laughs> Finally, I'm not even gonna tackle that last sentence as it's way too obviously satirical, but seriously, sleeping, well, guess it's time to pull all the plugs on the life support machines. Finally, when asked who their feminist icon was, the woke Asian responded with... Amy Schumer. She's a top female comedian slash comedian of all time. Funniest jokes I've heard and an inspiration to those who have been told that girls are less funny than boys. Coochie. <laughs> And finally, for the final interview today, we have an inspirational activist, Disgusted Feminist. I can't wait to hear her opinion, but before we move on, if you've made it this far in the video, surely you must be having a good time. If I'm correct, then go down there and smash that like button. It really does help me out a lot. When asked what the most woke and problematic accounts were, she said, Me. I am the greatest account to ever exist, period. And Donald Drumpf. He should be banned from using the beautiful platform that is Instagram. His unwoke behavior needs to be banished. That looks like someone needs to be banished back to school, you degenerate. When asked what their biggest concern for 2021 was, she responded with, and uh, listen carefully, My biggest concern right now is that Drumpf will refuse to leave office and make Joe Biden fight him for his spot in office. While this may be a lot more entertaining, it is not a good look for Joe Biden. Yeah, because he'd get his cheeks clapped. Have you seen this man's guns? Also, Joe Biden is racist. And that's not a bad thing. Yep, you, he you heard me correctly. That, that is indeed what is written. I, I am in disbelief. I, this is, this is off script. I am, I'm not on the script. This, the script is far away. The, what? Uh, well, well, you heard it here first, guys. It's officially okay to be racist, according to the disgusted feminist. <laughs> Cretin! And finally, the last question asked was about their thoughts on holidays. And here, the disgusted feminist provided the greatest answer possible. An answer so detailed, yet vague, the philosophers will spend decades, nay centuries, unpacking all of the intricacies that it means. No. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for sitting through this absolute slog with me. Really does mean a lot to me that you made it this far, and if you did, please consider checking out some of my other content, and maybe subscribing to the channel. I can assure you that you won't regret it. In addition, I had to skip over a few questions to make sure this video didn't drag on for too long, so again, the Instagram account will be in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Anyway, that is all we have time for today. We learned a lot, in fairness. You know, in fairness, we, we did learn a lot. We learned that it's okay to be racist and that apparently Amy Schumer is the greatest comedian to ever live. <laughs>